Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and we're going to look at my plans for Game Week 32. There are four teams blanking and I don't have a free hit to use. But before we do that, let's look at a couple of leagues and see what's been happening. So the Midnight Mule FPL League. Who was the highest scorer? It was Conrad Norman with Hasbulla's Boys. 92 points. It's a pretty good score. Harland captain 24, Watkins 16, Solanke 15, Salah 14, Trent 9, Martinelli 5, Raya 5. And on the bench, Mings with 6 points, but that was all really. So, very, very good score. Top of the league at the moment is Jacob Eriksson, Skogs Lantern IF with 48 points. So, the gap got closed slightly, but he's still comfortably top. And he had Haaland as captain 24, Kepa 6, Martinelli 5, March 5. Nobody else really showed up and there's no one on the bench. What's interesting with this team is all four bench players aren't playing game week 32. Neither is March or McAllister nor Haaland. Jacob's not used his free hit yet, so I think it's quite possible he'd be free hitting for game week 32. As for me, I'm down in 96th. I got 72 points. I had Harland captain 24, I had Salah for 14, Trent for 9, Kepper for 6, Martinelli 5 and Darwin for 5. And on the bench, March for 5, so I could have played March instead of Matoma, could have gone either way, though it doesn't really matter. So the game week rank was 1.1 million, which is okay, it's pretty good if I got that every week, that'd be nice, a lot of green arrows there. So overall 1,925 points. It's the first green arrow for five weeks and I'd forgotten how good a green arrow feels. So we're very pleased about that. It's a nice, nice change. It's funny, before the last game, I think I was like 12 points off safety. So it was a, quite a decent sized red for me. And I couldn't even listen to the game because I had to play chess for the local club. And when you play chess, you can't have any phone switched on. So I didn't have a clue what the score was until afterwards. And then it was like, oh, that was nice because I had Salah, Trent and Darwin and they all did all right. So I'm 17 points inside the 1 million mark, 36 off half a million, 626 subscribers. Thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed. If you like this sort of thing and you're not yet subscribed, please do so and leave comments and likes are good as well. And I think the best thing for me is if you just let the video play all the way through. FPL Game Week have got a league set up where they've put in a load of content creators. And when you look at it, you can see where you'd appear. So currently FPL Harry is top. He scored 91 this week, which is very good. Ben Crellin's still in second, but the gap's now widened to 42 points by the looks of it. I'm all the way down on the second page. There I am. I'm in 54th. And the only person I watch regularly on this page is FPL Focal. He still has his free hit chip, and I don't, so I'm guessing he'll be free hitting this week. Game week 32 transfer. So I made the mistake of buying Darwin a few weeks ago rather than Watkins. And that's cost me dearly. And all the time I haven't got Watkins, I just seem to get a lot of pain. So this week, I'm going to get rid of Johnson. I'm going to bring in Jesus. I'm going to continue the Watkins pain. Not because I think he won't score, but it's I just need to change too much of my plans to bring him in. And I wouldn't want him the entire season, probably. So I'm going to gamble. He's going to eventually stop scoring points. But I can't afford this. I need to get some money. So I need to take a trip to the pawn shop that sort of pawn shop and I'm going to have to lend out Fernandez for 9.5 million and I'm going to get in Odegaard. Now I don't know yet if I'm going to do this just for one week or two weeks or the whole season. I would really like to get Fernandez back and I may do it next week. I may get it the week after or I may decide I just can't afford him but this may be a temporary move. I just don't know yet. And the captain for this week, it'd be no surprise, it'd be the most captain player. It's Salah, Salah who gets salad. <laughs> it's Salad who gets to wear the old mule hat. And then vice captain would be Martinelli. But I could really choose any Arsenal or Liverpool player for the vice captain. So the way my team lines up, and I don't think I've had a team quite like this before, because all 11 players are at home. So Salah's at home to Nottingham Forest and his two mates, which would be Trent and Darwin. And then Vice Captain Martinelli's at home to Southampton with his two mates, which is Odegaard and Jesus. 
and then here's a potential amount of pain. I've got Rhea and Henry at the back at home to Villa. So if Watkins scores, that's two clean sheets gone straight away. And then, of course, the points I don't get for not having Watkins. However, on the off chance that Villa failed to score, all those people with Watkins don't get a return from him. And I get two clean sheets. That's very nice. And another very popular striker that I don't have is Kane. And I've got two Newcastle boys at the back facing Kane. That's in Trippier and Botman. And then finally, we all know how good Leicester have been recently, which isn't very good. I have Castagna at the back against Wolves. So a very exciting team because they're all at home. Could be a decent score or the back six might fail to keep a clean sheet at all between them. And it might be a like 50 point score, but we'll see. So there we have it. That's my plans for game week 32 without a free hit chip. Quite excited that I've got 11 players playing at home. It's the potential for a good score, but equally all six of the back may let in goals. And so I might end up with like 40 or 50 points. But it's only a game and it's a lot of fun. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>